Last week we jumped on board the Spirit of Tasmania and drove 4,000 kilometres to make it all the way to the tip of Australia. We said goodbye to Granny and Gramps who were travelling with us for three weeks and now we will explore the most amazing waterholes, four-wheel drive tracks and some of the best camping we've seen in Australia. We're going camping, real camping with a rooftop tent. So I'm freaking out a little bit because I like the comforts of my van but the kids are stoked and excited so we're going to give it a go. Uh, we've got the iCamper rooftop tent that will fit all five of us in it and let's do it. We did the five beaches drive and then drove to the western side of the tip at Runga Point where we camped for the night. We saw some hammerhead sharks swimming in the shallows and the sunset was just beautiful. And I survived actual camping. So far we've been at the Cape for eight days and we're just about to head back across the Jardine River on the ferry, so here we go. After about an hour's drive from the Jardine River Ferry, we made our way to the iconic Twin Falls and Elliot Falls. We camped nearby and spent the next few days going back and forth from our camp to the waterfalls. We based ourselves here for about a week and we also left the caravan here while we nicked off for a few nights stay on the old telegraph track. So we got back from the waterfalls yesterday and when we arrived there were a couple of families there. It turns out they're pretty wicked people and they've got some amazing little kids the same age as ours. So the kids have got some new little friends. Uh, Gibbo's talked them into doing a bit of the old telegraph track with us. So we've already done the top half of the track, the northern section, yeah. and we we're obviously going to go do the southern section anyway. So we've talked these guys into coming along and then uh, if that goes well we might go do the top section again. We would love for you to meet our new neighbours, the Dorr family and the Devlin family. After spending the night chatting around a campfire, we decided to hit the telegraph track as a group. We headed off to the southern end first and took all of our camping gear to camp the night on the track. This is the last time our doors were nice. Now you see, we'd already made it out of here successfully, but I didn't capture it on film, so I asked everybody to go back and do it again. Well, we shouldn't have done it a second time. <laughs> oh, what can you do? Happy Father's Day, you get new, two new doors. <laughs> two doors, that's good.
was time to hit the northern end of the old telegraph track. Nolan's 2.0. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> there was casualties on Nolan. <laughs> so this is Nolan's Crossing. We stayed here a couple of nights in the end in the rooftop tent, just watching everyone go through. The kids were swimming in the water. Beautiful little spot. We didn't do anything wrong, I swear. <laughs> Axel, do you reckon you can... While filling up with fuel in Weeper, we ran into some police who follow us. They were absolute dead set legends and gave us some pretty good local knowledge on where to go camping in the area. No. Oh, you guys aren't very good at this. <laughs> After we restocked at Weeper, we decided to head to Pennyfather Beach where we'll spend the next week camping, fishing and relaxing by the beach. The locals tell us they've never seen a caravan make it into this site. We were lucky enough to be in Cape York right when the turtles were laying their eggs. Can homeschooling get any better than this? fishing but the night time seemed to be when we came into luck. weeks at Pennyfather Beach. We spent most of our days relaxing by the beach, playing cards, catching up on the kids' schoolwork and of course trying our luck fishing. The kids have been getting along like a house on fire so we aren't quite ready to head our separate ways just yet. We 
We picked up a parcel in Weeper and it was all our new filters, so we gave them a quick change because they were all really dusty by this stage. Just out of Cohen, you will find this beautiful little free camp called the South Bend. We spent a few nights here playing in the water before the Devlins had to leave for Cairns. We decided to continue on via Battle Camp Road on our way to Cooktown. We stopped in for the night at Isabella Falls, where the kids had an absolute blast playing in the water. Be sure to tune into our next video as we hit the crib track in the pouring rain and make our way to Elam Beach to see the painted cliffs and explore Cape Bedford where we were surprised to find some of the best four wheel driving on the Cape. If you've enjoyed our video please give it a like and a comment and be sure to share it with your mates. Cheers.